History Monica Goyle, MD, Deputy Head of Emergency Medicine, National Children's Hospital, Washington, D.C. Lawrence Kleinman, MD, Professor and Vice President of Academic Development and Head of Public Health, Quality and Scientific Count Implementation, Department of Pediatrics, Robert Wood Johnson School of Medicine, Rutgers, New Brunswick, New Jersey Pediatrics, August Many Black and Hispanic Americans are basic workers and cannot stay at home there more, dependent on public transportation and often live in overcrowded homes, which may facilitate the transfer of VOCA-19 to family members. They were all directed to free testing for children because they had mild symptoms indicating the presence of VOCA-19 and met other criteria, such as known infection. The researchers found that nearly half of the Spanish-speaking children and adolescents on the test site responded positively to SARS-CoV-2, the virus causing VOCID-19. What the study doesn't understand is why, said Boyle, a pediatric emergency specialist at the National Children's Hospital in Washington, D.C. But there are probably several reasons, added he. However, according to Kleinman, the end result is that there is inequality and there is no reason to believe that the inequality that was previously observed during the pandemic has disappeared. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recently reported an outbreak in a hostel in Georgia, where 260 children and staff responded positively to the virus. Kleinman, whose own study focused on the impact of the IAD-19 on children, said the new discoveries were not surprising, but while children have a much less chance of developing a serious disease than adults, it does occur in spreads. According to Kleinman, Goyle stressed, however, that parents should not avoid visiting pediatricians for fear of contact with sick children. Especially before the opening of schools and the flu season, we started with a myth that children are somehow free from VOCID, said Mr. Kleinman. Five in the field of pediatrics how the pandemic disproportionately affects children and adolescents. According to Mr. Kleinman, it is the social problems identified as a result of the pandemic that must ultimately be addressed in the short term. However, he stressed the importance of reducing the risk of coronavirus transmission by maintaining physical distance, regular hand washing and wearing masks in public places. Good indoor ventilation, including in schools, is also important, Mr. Kleinman said.